What's up, YouTube? Buddy SD General back again, and today, guys, we have another Operation Trebuchet news update. Uh, tons of stuff in this one, and uh, this recording is coming out a little bit late this week. Uh, I recorded this a couple days early, but I was once again sick, like this revolving sickness from my buddy's kids or something just keeps coming back and trying to hit me again. So, uh, yeah, that sucked. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. Uh, starting us off, we've got some work from Vespate on the new DMR he's making. I'm not really sure what the differences will be from this one to the previous versions. Um, with that being said, this is good practice for Vespate. I know he's wanting to uh, improve his modeling and stuff. It looks like a really good model right off the bat. Um, beyond that, I'm not really sure what else to say about it. It looks like he's uh, been trying to nail down the uh, the iron sights and stuff on it. He's got some textures set up already in Substance Painter. So uh, looking pretty good, but not much else to say about that weapon uh, besides that. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions, I, maybe I'll just try to ask him what the differences are here next time I talk to him. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead. Let's keep moving on. Uh, past the DMR, we've got some work on the battle rifle. Uh, Braz and Freeman are working on updates to the battle rifle, which includes a underbarrel grenade launcher, uh, which will come at some point down the road, as well as it looks like a new scope that will be going on to this too. So that's kind of an interesting addition there. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, once again, not much else to uh, to say beyond that point, so uh, we'll go ahead and keep moving. This one is going to be a big announcement for a lot of people, though. The Spartan laser is being worked on by Braz. Uh, I'm not sure how it will function or anything quite yet. I would imagine it's probably going to function pretty similar to the one mounted on the Sparrowhawk already. Um, with that being said, I'm pretty psyched for this. Uh, definitely will be a excellent weapons addition. It's pretty unique as far as how it works and everything. It, I don't know if it'll be as devastating as the, uh, the Sparrowhawk mounted one, but even if it's not, it should be an excellent weapons platform, especially for like anti-air and stuff like that, or just anti-everything. Uh, continuing on with the theme of weapons, we have the, uh, weapons lockers being worked on by, I believe, Kenny, and I was just looking at a bunch of his posts, and I can't remember for sure now, but, uh, anyways, yeah, these weapons lockers are pretty cool, um, so, the, uh, the colors and stuff vary depending on the faction being used for them, so these three are the ODST, the ONSC Army, and the Marines. Uh, each will have unique weapon loadouts depending on the faction and stuff. So like the army will have MA-37s and the uh, M45 shotgun. Whereas the marine variant might have MA-5Cs or Bs and uh, like an M90 shotgun. Um, so that's pretty neat. The other cool thing is, is that when you pull a weapon off of here, it actually physically pulls it off of the shelf. So... <laughs> you uh, can see a little clip of this here where he's pulling off an MA-37, disappears off the rack, pulls out a uh, shotgun, pulls it off the rack, works with the snipers, works with the uh, the pistols, whatever other weapons go in here. So like M247s, uh, rocket launchers, whatever else ends up in here, you'll uh, be able to see that. So this is still work in progress, so uh, I'm not exactly sure what we'll end up seeing from this down the road or if there's going to be any major changes to it before release, but uh, I love what he's done with it. Really awesome uh, addition, nice little uh, things like that just really make it that much better. Um, <clears throat> continuing on with uh, more weapon stuff from Freeman here, we've got those ammo packets I showed off previously are in-game and presumably functional already. Um, as Freeman went from having a green tag to a blue tag, meaning he's a full developer, which means that something he made got into game and is, I believe, fully functional. <coughs> Apologies, guys, still kind of working my way through that cold I mentioned previously. Anyways, yeah, these uh, ammo packets are something I've been waiting for for, like, literally, like, four or five years, so I'm excited for these. It's such a small, stupid thing to be excited for, but, um, it's just so Halo- it's back to Halo 1, like, you know, this is just one of those things that's so different from, like, real life, I guess. At least, I've never seen uh, ammunition, you know, 
uh, magazines, clips, or anything stored like that that I can think of. Uh, like in like little disposable baggies. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty psyched for that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to actually seeing those and getting to play with those in game. Um, continuing on, we've got some stuff from Reverence here. Uh, a thing from Reverence. We've got a picture of his uh, work in progress drone. So this is the Halo Wars 2 drone that you see with the Jackrabbit and the sniper unit. Um, so I'm very excited to have a operational uh, halo themed drone that will come in with these units and stuff so uh burgess was working on the camera drone from halo 2 which i really wanted to see personally but uh i'm pretty excited to get this too just anything halo themed for the drone is something i want to see just start filling in the stuff that we don't have that's used a lot in uh general operations and stuff so like drones artillery um Halo doesn't really have mortars, but a Halo mortar, I suppose, would be cool. Um, start seeing some of the stuff that we get used a lot, kind of filled in by Halo stuff is neat. So seeing something like that drone, I'm excited for it. Uh, moving on to vehicles, we have a kind of basic shot. Not much to say about this one. This is the interior shot of the Rhino from Hollywood. Um, not much going on here, though, so I can't really say anything else about it. So we'll just keep moving from here. Uh, next up, we've got the frigate from Forky. The frigate's looking pretty good. These are ideally what this will look like in-game. So this isn't in-game yet, but uh, these textures are designed for Arma. Um, the Operation Trebuchet devs have been messing with some new stuff, trying to get the textures to look a little bit better once implemented into Arma because there's usually a quality loss once you take something that's like a nice-looking model outside of Arma, and then you put it into Arma, and Arma armors it. I don't have a better description for it. Just Arma, Arma is it. And if you develop for Arma as like a moderator, or like a moderator, a mod developer or whatever, you understand that sentiment statement. So uh, I'll just leave it at that. But I'm excited to see the, the frigate progressing. Great set piece. Um, and that segues into first contact ships. So uh, with first contact, we got something I've been waiting for for years as well. Uh, so we've been shown this previously, so I'm a little bit hesitant to get too excited for it because it didn't come out previously. But we've got the Spirit Dropship. <coughs> uh, this was shown off by Drake Darren and a uh, little meme version by Night Um So in this, uh, we've got... The Covenant dropship, that would be an excellent unit to have for first contact. Um, not much to say about it yet. It's kind of still up in the air how this thing's going to work. It's still early modeling, but it will have a center cockpit, it looks like, uh, with a pilot and co-pilot. Uh, there will be like a glass window in some way, shape, or form in the center that the pilot and co-pilot will be able to see out of. Now, I don't know if that will be like a one-way glass somehow. I don't know if that's even possible in Arma. But um, there will be a glass canopy or whatever so that you can actually physically see outside of there without relying on screens like, say, the Bison, for instance, where you can't physically see outside of it without the screens or, like, going into, like, a different vision mode. So um, that I'm looking forward to very much. That's going to be an awesome unit to have. Um, the co-pilot will control the gun turret for it. The pilot will pilot it. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, though, that is everything I had to show off this week, guys. Now, uh, there's a ton of stuff going on uh, still development-wise. We've got Opcans kind of on hold. Uh, Burgess became a uh, entry-level dev for the dev team again, and then his computer broke immediately afterwards. Now, with that being said, once his computer is back up and running, which hopefully shouldn't be too long, he's going out and buying a new computer and saying he might even have it tonight as of this recording. Um, you know, he said what he develops for Optray will not affect what ends up in Opcan, or it will be different content too. I guess it will affect it regardless, but, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll get some more unique models and stuff for Optray, which is always exciting. Uh, Burgess does some pretty awesome armors and stuff. He's come up with a lot of very unique content over the years 
that's custom armors and stuff that aren't actually from Halo lore, but it looks like it's out of Halo lore. Uh, some of it's based off of concept art, and some of it just seems to be like amalgams of Arma stuff that he's thrown together to make it look like it's sci-fi themed. Um, so I'm excited to see what he does. I'm kind of interested to see where he uses his talents as far as developing stuff for Operation Trebuchet. Uh, I suspect we're going to see some more focus on the insurrectionists because I know that's a, a soft spot for Burgess just based off of his development of Opcan. Um, you know, maybe we'll see some first contact stuff from him. Who knows? Um, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, I want to know what you guys are most excited about from this video, as well as just in general from Operation Trebuchet. Uh, I look forward to seeing your guys' comments below, and, uh, I'll see you guys in a week. Take it easy.